Death, unfortunately, comes to all you mere mortals. Try as hard as you like, there is no escaping it. If you're lucky, you'll have lived a rich and fulfilling life, only to pass on sleeping peacefully, surrounded by your loved ones who are all throwing rose petals on your bed and playing relaxing dolphin sounds or something. But where is the excitement in that? Going about saving the world or dominating it is the best way of getting yourself a first-class ticket to a pretty dramatic and memorable death. And it is proven in gaming, where hero and villain often succumb to some of the most disgusting fates imaginable before they are turned into fine, pulpy paste. But hey, at least they're leaving behind one hell of a legacy, even if it is just a smear of their insides across a large surface area. Now, I should warn you that if you're squeamish, these are some very graphic and gruesome deaths. But naturally, it would be boring if we didn't get to see some meaty deaths in our games, as they cater to both the survival instinct to avoid them, as well as the morbid curiosity to see just how ridiculous passing that mortal coil can get. And there, you can't say you haven't been warned. I am the Grotty Grim Reaper, Ash from What Culture Gaming, and these are the 10 most disgusting video game deaths. 10. Making a Wish Mortal Kombat 9 It would be way too easy to populate this entire list with Mortal Kombat fatalities, brutalities, and rage quits, surprisingly. That noob Cybots from MK9 is on here isn't from an impartial lottery, though. It is here because it is just absolutely disgusting. The ante has always been upped with each offering, some being silly and implausible, and some being a bit cringe-inducing. By the time Mortal Kombat 9 came around in 2011, after a several-year hiatus, we were poised to see what HD Mortal Kombat would do. Turns out you can render a man being split in half from the bottom up if you really fancied it. Not to be outdone by Kung Lao slicing someone's head open with his hat-turned bandsaw, Noob went one further. Appearing from the ground in both normal and corporeal form, each one takes a foot and proceeds to recreate that age-old tradition normally associated with chicken wishbones. Quite what the former Sub-Zero would wish for, I do not know. But the effort he puts into splitting this one makes you feel he really wanted it to come true. 9. A Split Decision – Until Dawn Over the course of this slasher-inspired horror game, you have got, in no particular order, decapitation, being burnt alive, crushed in a grinder, or having Wendigo fingers pierce your brain. But what makes Josh's death different is that it is not quick. The others, once a choice has been made or missed, happen more or less instantaneously. Granted, some play out a bit longer for massive effect, but the death itself is pretty quick whereas the trap Ashley and Josh find themselves in drags on for maximum tension. What makes it worse is that despite what choice you make, Josh always dies. So if this were your first playthrough, you'd be helpless if you didn't want him to die. Instead, you get to watch that huge blade draw closer, right up until it carves poor Rami Malek in twain. Alright, it does lose its effect if you've beaten the game before, but for first-timers, it is a pretty vicious way to go. Or is it? 8. Helios Light the Way – God of War 3 Kratos is a dick, isn't he? Alright, he may have mellowed out a bit by the 2018 reboot, but prior to that, he is definitely a bit of a dick. God of War 3 is a fine example of this, as the unstoppable ball of rage hurdles ahead to exact his revenge on Zeus. Not content with cursing the land with plagues, floods, and other catastrophic events, Kratos' wrath is fully focused on the gods themselves. Which is unlucky for Helios, the god of the sun, as Kratos lines its sight on him. For as well as being a target on his warpath, Kratos has to use a certain element of the god to aid his quest, his head. Whether god or human, most of us are usually quite attached to our heads, not in a treasured possession way, either. Seems Kratos does not give two hoots, though, as he goes about separating the man from his mind. To call it decapitation would be nicer than the actual, which is just tearing it off with both hands and a lot of willpower. 7. Ellie's Revenge – The Last of Us it is often said, very philosophically, that man's biggest foe is man itself. Sure, the world of The Last of Us may be populated with cordyceps-infested zombies, air quotes, but it is the humans that give our gang the most trouble in their adventure, which Ellie finds out firsthand on a mission to find supplies for a wounded Joel. And you all know what's next, she comes across David and his men. Far from being standard looters, they take the extremes of a failing society further by resorting to cannibalism, which they intend to do to Ellie. So, naturally, David is a bad guy. He has to die. But rather than a straight shootout, Ellie has to sneak up on the crafty cannibal to get the upper hand. 
Rather than offing him and being done with it, Naughty Dog chose this point of no return to drive the realities of survival into Ellie, with a dozen horrible, thudding, heavy machete blows to the head. It's only a Joel ex machina that stops us having to endure more, but the damage is done. For both the player and Ellie, it was an eye-opening moment. 6. Peeling Back Mortal Kombat 11 Granted, I did say I could fill this list solely with Mortal Kombat fatalities. I won't, but this one was too good to avoid. This one is worthy as not only is it disgusting, it was surprising for a character like Geras. Despite being on the side of evil in the story, Geras comes across as a quite stoic, bit heavy hitting new combatant. Imbued with mastery over time and sand, Geras' first fatality is fairly mild, for Mortal Kombat standards anyway. But invest some time to unlock his second one and prepare yourself for some unflinching, uncompromising gore. It starts off fairly tame, with the Man Mountain punting his unlucky victim into a block of sand. So far, so injustice. Then the hand comes in, before getting a decent grip and flaying the poor loser in one massive tear. Not just a little face pull like Baraka's food for thought, oh no, top to toe. Relieved of half their skin like a fleshy kinder egg, we get treated to a very disgusting visual spectacle of a skinned person trapped in a sandy tableau. Even better if you've invested in a 4K TV. 5. That Horrible Choice Wolfenstein The New Order Killing Nazis is such a common occurrence in video games now that most of us are desensitized to it. Much like zombies or aliens, Nazis are any other cannon fodder to the average gamer. So when Wolfenstein The New Order arrived in 2014, players weren't expecting one of the most visceral, gruesome torture scenes put to game. What makes it even nastier is the bait and switch that the game pulls on you initially. The opening assault on Death Head's Fortress Laboratory ends with being forced to choose who of your two teammates dies, with the action cutting away to BJ's face as the resulting torture plays out. So far, so… good? It's only near the end of the game that you and us are reminded of what you were forced to watch when you make that choice. And I tell you now, it is not gentle. The hapless victim is unfortunately conscious as they endure their brain being removed from their skull. It is pretty harsh to watch, but it makes it all the sweeter when you avenge them. 4. Peekaboo – Resident Evil 2 Resident Evil has brought us many varied and gross deaths since its initial offering. Death by zombie, decapitation by both hunter and liquor, even down to being killed by right hands coming off. But for many, the tyrants are the final word in Umbrella's arsenal. Fans of the original will remember Ben Bertolucci as a victim of a mutated William Birkin's G-Virus spawn, bursting out of his chest. But for last year's remake, Capcom went for something a bit nastier, as Chief Irons already suffers his fate on Claire's story. Leon gets a different treatment. It seems Umbrella really didn't want any of this getting out, which our hapless reporter slash Ada's inside man was planning to do. Instead, Mr. X marks the spot when it finds our trapped prison guest. Proving that bricks and mortar are no match for a tyrant's power, nor is a human skull, our unlucky journo is picked up and popped like a ripe melon. Obviously, he didn't remember the golden rule. Don't back yourself up against flimsy walls that genetically engineered monstrosities can grab you through. Duh. 3. Death by Spoon – The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt It doesn't take long to discover that all is not what it seems with the Man of Glass, considering the first meeting was fairly innocuous. Yet, as you soon discover, Gaunter Odim is a sinister string puller of the nefariously highest order. Though his true nature is never fully explained, it seems our dear Master Mirror is not a force to be messed with or annoy. A meeting in a tavern with Geralt seems pretty standard to start with, everyone being merry and having fun. That is, until Mr. Odim takes offence to a slightly merrier man interrupting his liaison with our Witcher. Instead of using harsh words, he goes one further. A bit further, in fact, as he stops time and proceeds to slide a spoon into the frozen man's eye. Not just a little love tap either, oh no, deep enough to squelch, which we get to experience. The whole scene plays out as a macabre spectacle of the evil and trickery Odim can do. The poor guy didn't see it coming, ha <laughs> ha, and upon returning time to its regular flow, the results are exactly as dark as you'd expect. 2. No Peace Here – Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes Considering her name means peace, there is absolutely nothing peaceful about the treatment of Paz in the Metal Gear Solid 5 prologue Ground Zeroes. She was raised by Cypher to infiltrate Big Boss's forces, only to steal Metal Gear Z can be presumably killed at the end of Peace Walker. Which is… bad enough, right? 
Sadly, no. Suffice to say, Paz's time at Camp Omega is pretty grim, even for Metal Gear standards. Certainly, you wouldn't have expected the man with a skull for a face to have sewn a bomb into her stomach, which gets removed in no polite manner. It is not a small bomb either, but hey, crisis hopefully averted. But wait, there's more! It turns out there is not just the one, but a second bomb about her person. And I literally mean about her person, and she's only wearing a pocketless jumpsuit. I won't draw you a picture, I'm sure the editor will. It is not a pleasant death for the once angelic Paz. Not at all. 1. I Messed Up Dead Space 2 Poor old Isaac Clarke. After the events of the first game, you'd think that would be enough to break a man. But alas, by the time the sequel rolled around, Mr. Clark was tasked with a much higher purpose, as well as not dying along the way. It's bad enough when everything is trying to slice your limbs off, decapitate you, or even worse, occupy your still-twitching corpse as a gross puppet thing. It also doesn't help that the environment can mess you up if you stray from the path or step on a broken gravity panel either. So you'd think he'd be granted a bit of slack when it comes to retrieving the information of the marker burned into his mind. But no, you have to stick a needle in your own eye to get that info. That's right, you have to do it manually. No easy cutscene way out here, laddie. As you can see, if Isaac is too tense or moves too much, the results can be more than slightly bad for his health. Ugh. And that's our list. What other disgusting video game deaths belong on this list? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. I've been Ash and this has been What Culture Gaming. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and come back again soon for some more gross gaming content. Thanks for watching.